you broke into my apartment again. He sent them. How do I know it was him and not you? How do I know that you're not the one trying to kill me? I'm only trying to protect you. By breaking into my apartment whenever you feel like it? I'm not the only one breaking into your apartment. I didn't hear you come in. Well, a quiet approach often signals an honest heart. Shakespeare? Me. Tony Scavalli. In the book that'll make us both rich and famous, Memories of Our Future. Ah, oh, Memories of Our Future. Very Proustian title. Yeah. People have told me that. I don't know where Nicholas is. I've left messages for him everywhere. Well, maybe he got tied up. Two nights in a row. Mm-hmm. He should have called. Look, we can go to dinner alone. I'd rather be with a pretty lady than a pretty lady and another writer. Okay. Why not? Why not, indeed. Tonight I want you all for myself. Do you always get what you want, Mr. Scavalli? Not always. But I work at it. Very hard. You're a strange man, John Sable. Stranger than fiction. Not as real as the truth. Maybe it's because you won't face the truth. I suppose if I knew you better, I could understand. Maybe. Anyway, how am I supposed to trust somebody who hides everything? Maybe I should just call the police. You could have done that before. I'm not hiding anything from you. This guy set you up in order to find me. I don't want to see anything happen to you. Why did he pick you? I'm a hunter. I think he's had enough. He wants to get caught. He's tired of the game. Then I'm not really in danger, am I? I'm just a piece of bait in some sadistic exercise. Hmm? Besides, you're the one that's playing games, painting yourself up like some African shaman, running around the city at night dressed up like a phantom. Who are you anyway? And why should I trust you anymore? Because your life's in danger, Morgan. You're the only danger in my life right now. If you would just disappear off into the shadows, this nut would leave me alone. It's not as simple as that. Well, the game, as you call it, will be over tomorrow, simple or not. Why tomorrow? I'm giving a lecture in New York. I leave on the 8 o'clock plane tomorrow morning. And then I'm treating myself to a week in the Caribbean. Maybe I can forget about you in this so-called rose killer. That's right, Sable. Go hide. to show up, which is more than I could say for you. Eat. Cheesecake. What do you got? Mm. Seems our rose killer has very particular taste when it comes to victims. Like what? Like they're all first-class ladies, single, lots of credit cards, and candidates for frequent fly of the month. The killer traveled a lot, too. Boston, 
San Francisco, L.A., Detroit. Yeah, a real Mr. Jet Set, which reminds me. Did you hear the one about the spinster who goes on vacation? She goes to no man's land. <laughs> How does Morgan fit into the profile of the victim? Like butter on a muffin. I'll know more in a little while. I've made up a little spreadsheet on all of them. What about the killer cheesecake? He's the one I need. You know, John, patience is a virtue. One of the many you sometimes lack. Cheesecake? Yes. You ate that whole cake today? Look, John, I've been working at that computer all day. Now, would you try to drive your car without putting some fuel in it? If a man's gonna work, he needs a little fuel, okay? Well, now that you're fueled up, how about getting back to work? I've already done my work. I fed in all the data, now we wait. Even computers take time. Here, John. Eat. Hello? Oh, my God. Would you believe I forgot? <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you called. Um, I'll meet you there in ten minutes. No, 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 no. I'll be there. Besides, I'm starving. Okay, bye. Going, going, gone, John. What is it? Home run. Grand slam, my man. All the Rose Killer's victims had a preference for the same airline, Midwest Skies, and they all traveled first class. John, they were all members of something Midwest Skies has, called the White Rose Club. White Rose Club? Yeah, it's a perk for female executives. They get free limousine service and a white rose in a glass vase served with dinner. Check the spreadsheet again. I compared the dates of the murders with all the flight crews flying into those cities on Midwest skies. I got a flag on one guy, a flight steward named Gregory Dalton. Address? Description? Not yet. Hey, but here's something. All the victims were murdered on the night before they took their next flight on Midwest skies. Does Midwest skies fly from here to New York? Every day. Check the morning's passenger list. Eight o'clock flight. Got it. McAllister. Morgan. Doctor. First class. You know, I haven't taken one of these rides I don't know how long. Pleasures of the evening still await us. You really are beautiful, Eden. Tony. I know you've been told that before. But this time it's it's coming from somebody who really means it. That's sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the lucky stars that brought us together. I mean that. I know you do. Up and coming, best-selling author meets lovely and brilliant literary agent. Together they light up the world. Great story. It's almost better than the one I wrote. Which is something we should talk about. What, my book or lighting up the world? Your book. Okay. Uh, business before pleasure. Shoot. Tony, I know how important the book is to you. But to be honest, it's not me. You don't like it? I just can't honestly tell you that I'm passionate about it. It's just not me. It's the best thing I've done. I am passionate about it. I think you should be. And I think you should find an agent who is. Tony, look, my whole concept of this business is to sell the author as well as the book. And I think I'd have a hard time doing that. What do you mean? I thought there were a 
thought there were real sparks going on between us. 